kinship marriages, there are certain areas of Islamic law where um, certain people within the family or within extended family are forbidden to you to marry. Um, so your, you know, your first uncle, your first aunt, your grandparents, your parents. And many of these um, prohibitions we take for granted now. But actually it took years for these prohibitions to develop um, and um, some kind of um, civil recognition. So um, many Muslim countries have also got the imprint of other cultures on them. And where these cultures intermarried between cousins, that has also come into Islamic culture as well. Some Muslim cultures don't, they don't prohibit it, but they don't look upon it favorably for all sorts of other reasons. And religion is only one aspect of it. So there's huge variety of interpretation of who one is allowed to marry within kinship and outside kinship. Here maybe there is some differences between the Muslim law and, uh, you know, uh, the Christian or the national law, which is deriving from the Christian heritage. Uh, in Islam, uh, you know, cousins uh, are marriageable or they can marry from each other. It is not the case in some Western culture. I don't know whether the first cousin are capable or allowed to get married to each other. But however, from the Muslim point of view, the uh, cousin are allowed to get married to each other. Although the Prophet advise, you know, uh, the couple should not be really uh, blood uh, closely related. But nonetheless, uh, the um, marriage among the first cousin, it is acceptable and there is no problem with that. On the legal ground, as to the kinship, you know, marriages, there is something which is there is no prohibition between cousins. It, there is no prohibition doesn't mean that it's promoted and this is the only way you have to think. It's the best when you get married is to open to other families and other varieties. It could happen that uh, uh, your cousin, uh, and it's not, in fact, legally speaking, is not prohibited, and this is why we see this in the Islamic, in many Islamic families. Um, now the problem is not is not that it's deeper than that. Is that we have this kind of thing because the people are so scary about open opening up to the society. They say, okay, let us organize everything within the family, and it's the way to trust, you know, the fathers and the mothers because we know them. It's my brother. It's my my sister, and I think that it's out of you know this you know troubled perception of the world and uh, this fear towards the society, that we are going back to the countries of origin, getting a woman or getting a man and say, okay. And I, I think that this is really deep problem here because uh, 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 we really need to understand that uh, this kind of, these kinds of relationship are, are really under very great risk because the people are not living in the same culture, they are not dealing with the same reality, uh, and we have things that are breaking very often on the basis, not because we are sharing the same values, that we are sharing the same culture and sensitivities and perception of the world is deeper than that. And, and, and this simplistic perception, as long as you are a Muslim, is going to be very good, nice, the great marriage. It's wrong. You know, we are not dealing only with our faith, we are dealing with our perception of the world, with our habits, with our customs, with our uh, collective psychology, and uh, even if we are coming from the same family, even if we are coming from the same family, coming from the same family but not from the same culture is in fact really difficult to, to deal with.